Download the Blooms for Bees app from the App Store or Google Play. The app features a bee guide containing descriptions, images and distribution maps for all UK bumblebee species. To assist you with identification, you can filter bumblebee species according to their tail or body colour. You can also use the app to survey the flowering plants in your garden or allotment. The data will help us develop a better understanding of which bumblebee species visit these spaces and which flowers we should grow more of. In order to take part, open the menu and click sign in. Please read and accept the terms and conditions which explains what data will be collected and how it will be stored and used. You can sign in using your email, Facebook or Google. Validate your account via the email you receive from Natural Aptitude and sign in. Select a username and select your identification skill level and any memberships you have. Select new survey, add a location and provide details about your garden or allotment, type, size, location and surroundings. You can also provide details about garden characteristics, management and features if you wish. Decide which flowering plant you'd like to survey. You can survey any plant with at least one open flower, including ornamentals, fruits, vegetables, herbs, wildflowers or weeds. Record the name of the plant by typing either the common or scientific name in the plant search box and select the appropriate option from the list. If your chosen survey plant is not listed, please select plant not listed and type its name in the text box. If you do not know the name of your survey plant, please select plant unknown and we will try to identify it from your photograph. Count or estimate the number of floral units on the plant or plants you are surveying. A single floral unit is one simple flower, head, bumble or spike. Essentially, a floral unit is a collection of flowers that a bumblebee could walk around, but the bee would have to fly to reach another floral unit on the same plant. Take a picture of one of the plant's open flowers. Save the details. If the plant is very big or has a large number of flowers, you can choose a small selection to survey and report on the bumblebee visits to those flowers. In this case, just record the number of floral units you are watching rather than the number on the whole plant. Begin your survey and spend five minutes watching your chosen plant to see which bumblebees visit. Each time you see a new bumblebee land on your survey flowers, select add a bee. Take a picture of the bumblebee. Try to take pictures from the side to capture key identification features. The colour of the tail is very important, as are any coloured bands on the body. If the bumblebee flies away before you manage to take a picture of it, you can report the sighting without a picture. Try to identify the bumblebee and select a bumblebee species from the bee guide. You are most likely to see one of the eight common species and probably some of the cuckoo species. The scarce species are quite limited in their distributions, so check the maps in the bee guide to find out if they are present in your area. You can also add a confidence rating if you wish. Don't worry if you can't identify the bumblebee, just select Species Unknown. Save your bee record. At the end of the 5 minute survey period, you will be asked to finalise the details of your survey and save. Your surveys will be saved in the My Surveys section of the app. Here you can amend your records by selecting the pen symbol, or delete or submit the survey records by swiping right. Here you'll also be able to find out if you managed to identify the bumblebee species correctly. We hope to check and verify your records within a couple of weeks, but if we receive a large number of records this may take a little longer. We hope you enjoy taking part in Blooms for Bees. Visit the project website and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.